In case you guys didn't know, Tommy Lauren, uh, I think she's a Fox Nation host as well now. She's uh, built up throughout the conservative uh, uh, ranks as one of these, uh, I don't know what I say, deplorable folks who say random things and say hateful things about folks that don't associate with her party and her conservatism, which I'm not sure of the reality of it. She's launching a new clothing line. Um, it's called Freedom, and it's in <laughs> partnership with Alexo Athletica. <laughs> Freedom. No, that's it, just freedom, okay. <laughs> okay. So she's working with you. So the point of these outfits, it's American inspired, as you can see with the stars all along her, uh, her um, the yoga pants and, and sports bras that they're selling, which by the way, generally priced, uh, go from $59 for some of the sports bra equipment to up to $69 for sweaters, $89 for leggings, bomber jackets for $100, um, but it's American inspired. We mm. got stars and stripes, we've got camo, Patterns with red, white, and blue, and uh, Alexo Athletica has a line of, of clothing that has gun holsters, so that women, oh, when they're running okay. along, they can uh, make sure that they don't get uh, mugged or uh, or you know assaulted because you have your gun on you. I mean, the pockets are in the front next to your crotch, other pockets in the yeah. back, so you can shoot yourself in the ass. All that works out perfectly fine. Okay, okay so. Uh, I've told this uh, story a couple times, but I'm gonna add one really important embarrassing detail this time. Uh, so when I run, uh, I run outside, and so the nice part is people like honk uh, and <laughs> wave out of their cars, say, hey, Jay, Young Turks, DYT. It's awesome, I love it, thank you guys. Uh, but the other thing that happens that's funny is that people that don't know me, or maybe even if they do, they're like, keep going, hang in there. <laughs> Because I it. apparently look like a hot mess <laughs> when I'm running, right? And it happens all the time. And I realized the other day, I actually was breathing kind of. <laughs> 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 and so somebody's like, no, no, hang in there, big guy. And they'll say big guy a lot, okay? <laughs> so, but now here comes the extra embarrassing detail. I, um, uh, it hasn't happened that often, and I've been jogging now for about 25 years. <clears throat> So it's bound to happen, right. but I've tripped a couple of times, right, uh, through all those years. Oh man! And when you trip on the sidewalk, the sidewalks are a mess in LA. We're not winning with our sidewalks. <laughs> uh, and so when you uh, trip, I mean, there's a tumbling, and you can scrape your arm stuff. It's not now a imagine, stumble; it's a fall. Yes, um, but uh, now imagine you fall like that, but you've got a gun next to your crotch. <laughs> So genius thinking, okay, uh, inconceivable that more people don't get hurt by gun accidents as they're exercising than actually protect themselves with that gun. Or then once that gun may go off, whatever reason, whatever anti-safety features people like to use, then there's other folks around, there's cars, there's other pedestrians, there's other folks in the park you're running at, that fires off. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, are you gonna take this to the gym? Is that even allowed in the gym? I mean, the chance of dropping your gun while exercising is like 87 <laughs> percent. So. Well, um, let's. Uh, we can go to. By the way, she also has an ad. Tommy Lauren does with for this line. Uh, let's go to the first clip of this to see how she's selling this. of young girls out there that don't really feel like they have a brand that represents their freedom. They don't feel like they have a brand that represents their rights. It's kind of been taken over by a certain group of people and I wanted my fans, my followers, my friends to have a line that they could wear and feel proud to be an American, feel proud of freedom, proud of the country that they live in. And that's really what this line represents beyond just being a fun, sporty line. I think it's young people that are saying, I wanna be a part of something bigger than myself. All right, before we get to you making fun of her running. <laughs> uh, so let me note a couple of things. And look, now we're, I'm speculating, but it's fun speculation. Those are not her friends. <laughs> <laughs> They're models, okay? Uh, so uh, maybe she has extraordinarily attractive friends that happen to be running around on the beach. She's like, hold on now, hold on, we're doing this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she talks about, oh, I got my friends. They can't wait to wear the Freedom uh, clothing line. Slash get paid for this ad, uh, okay. <laughs> and then number two, when they say it's America inspired, I wonder where it's made. Because <laughs> when they say America inspired, 
but probably made in Vietnam. New wrinkles to <laughs> this story. Uh, one Twitter user named Robin pa Panacea retweeted a conversation she had uh, with someone that was selling some of the articles from um, it's Alexo Athletica. Um, and she asked, hey, you know, I'm really into this stuff. It looks cool, looks nice. Again, now let's keep it real. This isn't, this is from the company that's making her line. It's not specifically the freedom line that we just went through a little bit of. Um, but she asked her back and forth, yeah, I'm, I, these look nice, but I'm hardcore 100% made in America type of uh, uh, customer. And then so the person said, let me get back to you and check it out, because it's hard to determine exactly where these things are made. And uh, the response came back to saying, yeah, you know, it's 95%, I think, polyester, 5% spandex. But yeah, it's made in China. Ah, I love it. <laughs> See, I didn't know that part. JR produced the, uh, the story. So uh, I didn't know you didn't know that. I no, no. Were... As soon as you said America inspired, I was like, is it ain't made in America? <laughs> okay, inspired, inspired. So uh, I like this too. Alexo says, Alexo will never, this is a quote, Alexo will never back down from supporting a woman's right to choose. Oh. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Hold on, I didn't finish the sentence. Choose how she defends herself while striving <laughs> to bring the best in fashionable, functional, active carry wear to the market. So, no, 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 they don't actually believe in women's rights to choose. Then they go on to say, it's about freedom. It's about the Bill of Rights. It's about constitutional freedoms. Okay. Oh, but not the constitutional freedom where you have a right to choose what you do with your own body. We're just telling you, you have to put this stuff on your body, and then we take your rights away to control your own body. But don't worry. You could shoot people either on purpose or accidentally <laughs> while exercising in our non-freedom club. She's gonna have uh, some problems with this Trump trade war. Oh, that's right. <laughs> they can be she's, out of business before they get started. She should come out ahead of this right now. It's like, uh, <laughs> Mr. President, I'm gonna need you to, to tone down uh, the rhetoric because some of us have businesses to hawk off of our popularity amongst idiots. So um, let's go on to the next clip. But first of all, I wanna point out the, think about all the patriotic and American loving rhetoric that's used in this ad. Let's go to the next part. Well, this part starts with the owner and CEO of the entire company itself that's made this line for Tommy. After a few bad experiences on a run that left me feeling defenseless and helpless, I quickly realized that I never wanted to not only run in fear again, but I never wanted to live in fear again. And I realized I wasn't alone in that. Problem was, there was no athletic company that was solving this problem to allow women to carry something that would keep them safe, but also do it in a stylish way. So Alexa is a brand that I've supported for a long time just on my own because I believe in that message. I believe in the Second Amendment. I believe in freedom. Now, my line doesn't have a gun holster in it, and that was important to me also because I believe that there are a lot of young people out there that really aren't ready to have a gun holster in their pants. Whether or not they're going to put a gun in it, whether or not they're going to put their phone in it, it really doesn't matter. It's about freedom. It's about the Bill of Rights. It's about <laughs> freedom, the Bill of Rights. <laughs> Slipping a pocket knife in there, maybe a, a, a what are those called? The flink flip blades? Nunchucks? No, no, that's probably a little <laughs> bit much. Okay, but I was thinking the Magna Carta. I think the Magna Carta could go in there because it's all about freedom, man. You can slip your miniature Bible in there. Oh, sure, yeah. So, by the way, uh, that's why I don't jog with my cell phone because I'm worried about dropping it. And now you're worried about dropping your cell phone. You should be. Far more concerned about dropping your gun. <laughs> uh, so, but these are tight and they're inspired for uh, American wear. You should rock some of them. I'm sure they have them in your size. Rock some of these. <laughs> Imagine me in that. Slide your cell phone inside. <laughs> no, no, you don't want to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Because everyone isn't comfortable with gun in their pants, <laughs> as she pointed out. Uh, no, I'm just happy to see you. No, um, <laughs> so uh, listen. <laughs> right. uh, so uh, the funny bottom line to this is that. I got no problems with this at all. Uh, look, everybody has got their own uh, audience, and she's got a conservative audience, mm -hmm. and they believe in this stuff. So have at it, Hoss. And and I don't know if they're going to sell or not. Uh, and I, the part I don't like is that they're making everybody uh, paranoid, like oh, be afraid, be afraid. And at any moment, you know, when you're running, when you're you know exercising, somebody's going to get you. And we got to sell more guns, and then now in this case, got to sell more athletic gear, etc. Right? But put, if you just put that aside, I get it. Tommy serves that demographic, so that demographic is more likely to buy from her. In that sense, I think it's savvy. I, I'm not convinced there's. Really, that big a market for this? I think maybe like seven women uh, think, mm -hmm. man, you know, I'm jogging around uh, and and I'm wearing skin tight stuff, so I gotta have some place where I put my gun. My guess is 
that that's not most of the market. But I could be wrong. And if they have a lot of people buy it, hey, it, it is a free country. Yeah, I've never had a problem with people. Do. It's just that when you talk about your principles as a conservative and you have all these principles and you don't follow them, that's when you open yourself up for this criticism. So if people say, yeah, you know, look, TYT, we make all kinds of shirts that are very lib based. Bernie Sanders on the front of a shirt or something else is criticizing something that Trump did, yeah, all that. But then there isn't this secret like affinity for the for the folks that we're talking down on or, or we're exposing for their BS every day. So that would be the trick of it. But like, yeah, you know, actually 50% of the proceeds from TYT actually goes to Trump campaign. That would be hypocritical and ridiculous to be pushing things to people that they what they think they're supporting. That's where the problem comes. Nobody cares if they put some stars on some pants, which by the way is against the Constitution. Yeah, you're not supposed to wear the stars and stripes on your ass. Okay, that's it's just it's against the etiquette of the flag, and you're certainly not supposed to sit on it while you're doing exercise mm -hmm. and all those different things. You can't fart on the flag. Yeah, yeah you never thought about that. <laughs> so it is. I want to be clear: none of the proceeds at shoptyt.com go to Trump or anything along those lines. Okay. <laughs> so, so lastly, there's one one more small part because you talked about who she's pushing this video, this uh, these, this line of clothes too. In the first one, she said, young girls have need a voice, they need to rep be represented and know that their freedom loving is being uh, acknowledged. So think about that. Young folks, young women is who she's uh, uh, hawking this towards. Let's see how, uh, how well she, um, she focuses on those young folks. And this has been a long process. It's not easy to come out with a legging line or an athleisure line. It's not something that one day you just say, I want to do this, and then all of a sudden it's there. Especially when you're working with an independent company, when you're working with a company of, of self-starters, it's a process, and you're going to have to work for it to get it from point A to point B. That's what I want women or really anyone to understand, especially in my generation. I'm a millennial, and so I think a lot of millennials think that things are just supposed to happen for them. It's not going to be that way. So all you millennials out there, hey, buy my stuff, you lazy f uh, You just <laughs> want everything to be handed to you. You know how hard I worked on this? That's not an ad, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> no, but I love the irony of it, I, and I love that you caught that. Uh, <laughs> this is for young women, because we believe in you. I mean, other than the fact that you're lazy and miserable, <laughs> okay? And I yell at you on air all the time. And my Fox audience, whose average age is literally 68 years old, loves it when I yell at you. But now buy my stuff. <laughs> you know what? I, you know why? Freedom. <laughs> freedom. <laughs> Bottom line. Freedom. By the way, she's running on some sand beaches. I assume in Southern California, since she's from and lives here. Um, I thought California was full of uh, moralist libs, especially on the beaches in these big cities that mm. shouldn't be representative of the real America in the middle of the country. Why don't you go to some cornfields in Iowa and start running to the cornfields yeah. in, your, in, your, in the inspired stars and striped shorts, and then let us know how well you like living there. Yeah, I, I don't know like why that. you would come to this denizen of immorality. <laughs> and I mean, LA, ugh, right? Uh, so. Uh, but it turns out uh, a lot of these conservatives, Tommy Lauren, Ben Shapiro, and many, many others, they love them some Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Liberal Hollywood, here they come with their spandex. <laughs> 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 so, anyway, bottom line is shoptyt.com <laughs> because freedom and justice. <laughs> For all. Why not? I mean, we're just taking words, right? <laughs> it, does, it, does, it might as well work out that way. Um, I never actually made fun of her running. So, when you're running, sorry, you generally don't want to keep your arms down to your side like this and then just do that. <laughs> it's not really much of a running form. I just want to point out the small things. Small that. things. Small things. Well, that is small arm movement. I had not noticed. See, that. you That's know a, this, Jake. You've been running for 25 years. I know, right? Um, uh, I, I probably am not the model for <laughs> uh, for a good form in running, but Jr. is since he was actually a track star at USC. Hey, so. I, I don't want to just go ahead and tout all of my um, background on the subject matter, but that's just something I noticed. So they had to slow down the video to make sure it was like a natural looking running form because. It's probably embarrassing and almost. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I'm nitpicking on things that I don't need to be talking about. No, I hear you. I hear you. And it's it's wrong. It's wrong. But <laughs> but let's just talk about it for one more second. Um, so again, glass house. You should see me running. Total mess, right? But now I'm deeply amused by the small arm movements when you run. <laughs>
<laughs> like, is that a right wing thing? Like, I don't want to, like, oh my God, that's expanding to it. Like, oh, maybe like Trump, they think you don't want to burn up all that energy you're running. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I got to <laughs> conserve it. I was running before the right way. And let's, one more time. It's weirdly stiff shoulders, too. Jake, I, I have seen you running before. You didn't realize it. I drove by you once. <laughs> oh, really? I was like, that's Jake. My kid was in the back seat. And he's like, where? I was like, we already passed him. You were going the opposite direction. Uh -huh. And I was like, that was absolutely Jake, right? And, um, what else was happening? Your face was not smiling. <laughs> oh, you were not smiling. <laughs> Nobody runs like this. That's so true. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> who's the one? Like high? Like yeah, <laughs> freedom. So I get it. These Mike, are all. You've got to stop working out. <laughs> these are that's all. That's true. I get it. Now again, these are things that aren't specific to Tommy Lauren's ad because I'm sure there's tons of ads that are from perfectly um, lovely individuals who have someone running and are cheesy smiling, which again, it's ridiculous. It's just we notice it here because I'm being an asshole. But no, but I love that you picked that up because when <laughs> I'm running, my face is more like this, like, oh, please, make it stop. That's what makes people go, right. keep going, big guy. Yeah, you're almost there, big guy, almost made it. Hashtag freedom. <laughs> By right. the way, there's so many times that I've seen people running that I feel like they were just getting started. I could tell just, you know, maybe they're losing weight. And I have had the urge, Three different times, because maybe I have stopped on a red light or it was a slow enough, and I want to go. You're doing great. You're doing great. And I said, and I stopped and I went. That's not a good thing to yell at someone. No, no. It's <laughs> because I really felt good for them, but yeah, everybody who says yeah. it, it, it comes from a good place. They, they, it's, they want you to like hang in there because it yeah. looks like you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> But they all mean it like really well. Like they don't. They're like, "Hey, way to go, man! Mm -hmm. It must be your first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I don't mind it at all. It's just funny. That's just slow down and go. Abs are made in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing a bunch of workout folks. If you're hitting the gym all the time and you have some obnoxious person and say, you know, abs are made in the kitchen, which means you're not supposed to be doing the exercise because you still have a gut. Um, you know, start eating better and then just sit on your ass instead. Don't say it either. Just let someone do what they're doing. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.